While this channel has only started featuring laptops as of late, I myself am no stranger to reviewing laptops. I mean, that was one of the main segments that I was covering when I was hosting for Brempro TV. Laptops, phones, and peripherals. Those were the usual fare. But while this box on my desk contains something that looks like a laptop, I assure you it's not. Let's get it opened. Before we continue with this video, I would like to remind you that if you are enjoying this content, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm a solo content creator, and I do all this to make sure that all of you are informed about the products you're about to purchase. Every subscription helps keep this channel running. Thank you. Now, on to the video. So this is the Uperfect X14 Pro Wireless Lap Dock. Lap dock in the sense that while it has the form factor of a laptop, it doesn't have any processing internals. It's supposed to connect to your other processing device, whether it be a phone, tablet, laptop, PC, or what have you, and act as a desktop interface for it in laptop form. But I'll be demonstrating all that later. For now, we can see that it comes in a simplistic cardboard box. We just have a very basic print at the front, with the logo of Uperfect and the words Portable Monitor. There are almost no other prints on the box other than the legal compliance logos and the phrase sustaining our environment for a better future. I think this is meant to imply that the packaging for this is 100% recyclable or biodegradable, and I'm always down for that. Good job, you perfect. Upon opening up the box, we can immediately see the X14 Pro inside, held in place by closed cell foam. I hope this is the dissolvable kind, you perfect. Apart from that, there is the manual and three resealable packets plus a white box containing all of the accessories. Let's take a look at them first before going to the lap dock. So apparently, these three resealable packets contain the cables that you need to connect your devices to the Uperfect X14 Pro. One of these is a USB-C to USB-C cable, which I assume is the Data Plus Power Plus Display variant that carries video signal via the HDMI or DisplayPort 1.4 standards. The other one is an HDMI to HDMI. I'm not sure of the version, but it looks to be at least HDMI 1.2, probably meant to connect a desktop or a laptop to the lap dock. And lastly, a USB-A to USB-C cable. While USB 3.2 can natively carry a video signal, the white receptacle on this cable implies that it's only USB 2.0, an old standard that does not normally carry a video signal, let alone at the throughput that the X14 Pro's resolution requires. This is probably for charging purposes, which makes this accessory, the one in the white box, the charging adapter, make little sense, because it's got a USB-C out port. I don't know you perfect, you guys might have to swap out either this cable or this adapter. Either way, the adapter is an EU plug and is marked to deliver 20 watts of charging. That's a pretty standard fast charger. All right, let's set the manual aside for now and let's take a look at the Uperfect X14 Pro wireless lap dock. Here we are, look at that space gray finish. Remind you of another famous laptop line? But anyways, we can see here that there's a protective sticker on the top of the lid. It also points out the different external features of the lap dock. Right side, if you're facing the lap dock, we have the power slash sleep button, a micro SD card reader, a USB-C port for external DC power, and a 3.5mm audio jack. Here at the right side, left if you're facing the lap dock, we have the mini HDMI port and the USB-C port that supports HDMI over USB-C. Alright, these seem to be a nice selection of ports, although I feel like it needs either another USB-C port dedicated for data, or even just a USB 3.2 Type-A. I'm also worried about the DC power being placed right beside the 3.5mm audio jack. That jack should be shielded, or else the power line is going to introduce some unwanted static and interference to the sound. But we'll see if that happens in the full review. Turning the lap dock over, we can see that the underside is totally featureless. No marks, no brands, no industry compliance icons, and most importantly, no vents. Yes, like I mentioned before, there are technically no processing components inside the body. So the Uperfect X14 Pro does not need any active cooling, only passive cooling. Pretty awesome. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below if you want to see me open this up and show you the insides to see how much this differs from a normal laptop. Alright, that's everything on the outside. Let's open up the Uperfect X14 Pro. 
There we go, as we can see, it comes with a compact laptop keyboard and a standard size trackpad. First impressions of both keyboard and trackpad are okay. They're definitely a far cry from my customary high-end laptop review units, and the trackpad specifically sounds super clicky with a long travel. There is a perforated grille right before where the body meets the 360-degree hinges, where the speakers are predictably are. There are three LED indicator lights here at the left side of the grill, with the left one being the power indicator, the middle one a caps lock indicator, and the right one being a touchpad lock indicator. Moving on to the hinges, they are 360 degree hinges and allow the lap dock to be used in standard, lay flat, tent, and tablet modes. All right. Taking a look at the screen, we can see that it's a glossy screen implying that it's a touch panel as well. I am not sure if it does have pen support, but I am hoping that it does, and I'll be sure to test that out in the full review. Alright, that's everything outside of the lap dock. Time to turn it on and test it out. Turning on the lap dock, we can see that the experience is different from a regular laptop. The first thing we see is not a BIOS boot up screen, but an instruction screen on the different ways to connect to it. For the purposes of this unboxing, we will be connecting to it via the included USB-C to USB-C cable. But do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the full review where I test it out on all its connection modes, including wireless. Before we connect my phone to this, we're going to explore the settings first, which we can access here at the bottom right of the screen by swiping down with two fingers. Alright, there's the OSD of the Uperfect X14 Pro. First off, there is a battery indicator at the bottom left of the OSD. Then we have sliders for different functions like speaker volume, screen brightness, image contrast, and image brightness. Also, there are toggles on which input it should display, with USB-C, mini HDMI, and wireless cast. There is also a USB-C charging pass-through option that you can either turn on or off, and a rotation lock. Pressing the next page takes us to an image fine-tuning screen where we can also toggle HDR. Image tuning options include temperature where we can select from 9300K, 7500K, 6500K, 5800K, sRGB, and user set temperature. There are also red, green, and blue luminance sliders for that fine color tuning if you ever want to calibrate this monitor. Alright, those are the settings for the Uperfect X14 Pro. Time to hook it up to my phone to test it out. Do note that I will be using Samsung DeX with this demo, as I feel like it would be the best representation and experience for a product like this. Plus, I use Samsung DeX regularly as my pseudo work environment when I want to just keep typing out work and not be tempted to boot up a game of Quake Champions, unlike on my main PC. And here it is. Since I use Samsung DeX regularly, I have it set up to automatically open once I plug in a DeX ready interface. There's my acronym Presto wallpaper I so love. Alright, since I'll be covering my tests of this lap dock much more thoroughly in my full review, let's just get the image, speaker, and touch responsiveness test in this video. To test the image and speaker, let's fire up YouTube and test it out on a video of one of my most favorite YouTube content creators, Marius Hornberger. As we can see, image quality is pretty good. Brightness might need a bit of pumping, but for just a daily driver work display, this image looks good enough. Speaker performance on the other hand leaves much to be desired, as it sounds thin, mid to high centric, and lacking in bass. A quick test of Scarlet Fire confirms that. But as we saw earlier, this lap dock is thin and lacks any intake or exhaust ports, and usually those things can improve the sound of smaller drivers by having more pathways for air to travel through. But overall, I find this to be a really interesting product and I'm excited to take it through its paces for a full review. So that's the Uperfect X14 Pro wireless lap dock. Are you impressed with it as well? Will you get one for yourself? Do you have any questions about it that you want answered in the full review? Let me know in the comments. As always, please like and subscribe, check out my previous video, and stay tuned to my channel for more tech and tech-adjacent videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.